Hi there, Gemini. Welcome to Healing Guys to Road. This is going to be your May 2021 reading for on Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. What do we have going on for Gemini? Let's see what's up for Gemini. And we have a celebration at the bottom here. So something you're going to be celebrating. Start off with that saying that there's going to be a celebration. Okay, I feel like you've been um trying to... um You've been through the battle. So you've been um trying to defend yourself against something. You've been going deep within. I think it's a relationship that you have in mind. There's a partnership that you are really um, thinking about pursuing. And you know that other people, if they get involved, they'll try to persuade you not to because they're just busy buddies that like to interfere in your business. And um, But you went deep within to learn things. I think you also might have had an awakening. I don't think you, um, for some of you, I feel like you didn't really have a spiritual connection. Now you do. I think things happened in your life in the um, past that brought you to a realization that there has to be something more. And so um, this woke you up, and it also, I think in the meantime, woke you up to this connection. Now, um, with this connection, you, you see this as the one for you. And you feel like this is a soulmate connection, because the cards here are be both, there's two cards showing the lovers here, and also the two of cups that you feel that this is a very serious connection here. And, um... Yeah, and the, and you want the you want to talk the truth. You want to talk to this person. You find this person as very um sexy and fun to be with, and um you're very attracted to them. And you really want to talk to them. You um this is you're coming in here. This is showing up as you here, the King of Swords, and it's like um I don't know. Maybe sometimes you might come across as being a little more stern or strict. But with this person, this person brings out the playfulness in you. This person, you're a lot of, like, the people I'm picking up on are very serious and very career-driven. And with this card here, I feel like, and with the other cards surrounding it, that this person brings out your passion, your, your, um, your lust for life. They excite you. And, um, so I think you are going to get back together with this person, or if... If it is from, from the past, it could be someone new, but you feel this instant connection with them, or you somehow feel like that deja vu, like you knew them before feeling, and you don't quite understand it, so that's why you really want to per perceive to um, find out about more about this person <clears throat> if you don't know them. And um, I think they're also maybe picking up on this a little bit. They, I think this person is very intuitive. And, um, yeah, I think they're... They're realizing this, but they have other options too, and you know that. Um, and then we have, I think you're waiting for something to happen in your career, though. You are a boss, or you're in charge of things, or if you're not, you will be. There'll be something coming up to put you in charge of things. You might be getting a promotion, or else a job in another company. Or you might be um, might own your own business. But you do have... A lot of love for this person you do um it's like you're this person just brings out the the soft soft ushy part of you that you, people, nobody ever sees because you sort of hide that part you um you don't want people to see that you're vulnerable but with this person you will your way you're ready to be that way <clears throat> now I think something really is coming up for you as far as money I think you're coming into your power here there's um the energy around you is like whatever you're doing, whatever move you make it, whether it's a, you know, a promotion or starting your own job, it's really going to pay off, and things are going to balance out. And um, but in the meantime, I think you have to let someone go. 
I don't know if this is someone in your personal life or someone where you work if you are in charge of people but I think someone you're letting someone go out of your life somehow whether it is to do with your um, your work or your personal life but yeah they're you have to let them go they're just not they're not right for the position whether that's a position in your life as personally or a business position they're just not they're not good for that position I don't think they actually put in the work and you want someone that actually puts in the work okay let's see what else we can get on this Gemini okay yeah here we have the king of pentacles again so that's I think you want to offer someone your cup of love or they to you or there also could be apology coming as far as in love department it's something happened in the past but there is an offer here there's something coming up that someone actually wants to or maybe even just say hey I like you can we go out <clears throat> but you are doing really well financially and I think people see that if you weren't doing well before, you are going doing well now or will be doing well in the near future. And yeah, Ace of Wands, you're starting something new. It's a creative project of some sort. Um, so it could be in love too. It could be just the idea that you have a lot of passion for someone and it's really getting. And I think this also could be connected with your career. You can know this person where you work or they inspire you they're like a muse to you that they, they get you excited and the creative juices start flowing when you think about this person because I think you want to be a better person for them and yeah there's gonna be an offer coming in. it could be a job but there is an offer coming in a job a contract something's coming in for you there's opportunity coming in And um, there's something here that's going on in your work, though, that someone's not doing. It might be the person that you have to let go. They might be stealing or um, not. Not. I, I feel more like they're, they're kind of lazy and they're not putting in the work. And also you are... Um, Your, your intuition seems like it's going pretty well here too. I think the person that you're interested in is very intuitive and you're intuitive and you're connecting on a spiritual level with this person which you never had before with someone else. But I feel like there is a strong spiritual connection here. And I think you both sort of hide this part of yourself. Okay, let's see what else we have going on. Yeah, so there could be someone really from the past that's coming back in. That maybe that's a person that you're that you feel they changed you. That you're you have this soft side that you have with them that you had with no one else, and you're walking away from either a relationship, a job, a situation to be with this person, and you're waiting for this to happen. You're waiting for the right time to do this, and you are working very hard. I think at work you are focusing on your work. If you can't do something at this moment, you are just um, putting all your energy into your work uh, making it just better for when you do get together with this person that you're just spending a lot of time in that or you also have plans to put a lot of time into this relationship when it shows up when you have the opportunity for this because you do have the lovers now we do have Gemini here we have Virgo here we have Aries here and we also have um, all the water signs so we have Scorpio um, Pisces Cancer and then we have um, the Earth sign so we have Virgo Capricorn and um, Taurus yeah so and cups and Emperor and yeah so it seems that there, there's a lot of and of course we also have your sign here um, Gemini and um, Aquarius and Libra but I think mainly we have the a lot of water signs and um, Earth signs coming through. Okay, what else do we have here for Gemini? <clears throat> so I think your person is either a water sign or a uh, earth sign. Okay, yeah, you want to offer your cup to someone, I think. Could be vice versa, but it feels like this is an energy of someone wanting to offer their cup to someone. 
waiting for the right time I really feel like this is like okay there's a lot of things that had to be put into place they are more or less there now you just wait for the right time and you're ready pr to protect this relationship too Ace of Wands again. Yes, something something coming in here. And I also I think that maybe some people might be just opening their their eye. Their um it's really a very um intuitive relationship. I think you guys too might connect on the fifth dimension. Even if you're not aware of it, you might dream about each other. Even if you've never met each other, because I mean it could be someone from the past or it could also be a past life relationship. So you could be connecting before you connect here. And we do have the Three of Cups, so you are going to get together and celebrate. But currently you are in the Hermit world. Again, this is Virgo energy. But you could also be learning something new. Um, but I really feel a very strong sense of enlightenment here. And I, I like to see the Hermit. I feel like the Hermit and the High Priestess are very um, spiritually connected. Both have a lot of um, wisdom. Yeah, you're not going to, there's no decision to be made, but you know what? I think you more or less have this, you decided on this person. But there might be people trying to interfere. You might have some interference from the outside. That's why you're keeping this to yourself. Yeah, you've been working a lot. You've been working really hard. You've been focusing on your career until this could come to, um, together with this person. And I think you've also been working very hard to be able to be with this person and um, have a happy life together. And someone's watching somebody. So either they're watching you or you're watching them. Um, trying to get more information. Trying to figure out what the other person's doing. Because I know um, you are connecting on the fifth dimension. But I think someone could just be um, trying to figure out how to, how to approach this. How to do this. Yeah, if it is someone from the past, for some of you, I think that, you know, you think about the past, what went wrong, and trying to um, figure out how to fix that. Pisces energy, yeah, hanging and seeing things in a whole new perspective. I think for a lot of you that have seen this as a past relationship, you're seeing things totally differently than you did at that time. I think people have matured. <clears throat> And, and someone's really worried about this. Someone just can't sleep at night thinking about this relationship. But that's going to pass. Two of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely a soulmate. Um, and we got the lovers here again. Soulmate and the lovers. Um, there's definitely a very, very serious connection here. And um, you guys are going to get back together because it's too strong. You can't fight it. And that's why probably in the Nine of Swords here, you're probably both feeling that pull. And um, you can't sleep at night because you think about each other. And you really are connected here. There is a very strong connection. Okay, let me... Um, yes, I see you guys um, getting together at some point here. Because you're. I think the universe is pushing you together. And you're not going to be able to fight it. But there is some, someone, either you or this, or your person, but someone is trying to uh, get all their finances in order. Okay, what do we have for Gemini? Joyful Muse, Inspiration. See, I told you, this person inspires you. And Joel Webb, Connectivity. Hmm. Okay, I'm, this is a brand new deck, so I have to read here. We have... Joyful Muse, inspiration, the gift of play, inner child. The Joyful Muse invites you to be more playful, to have more mirth and joy in your life. You have become boring to yourself even as others continue to find you interesting. Circumstances have dulled your edge and it's time to change. Not the things around you, but your attitude. Blow a morning kiss to yourself in the mirror. Smile to a stranger. Wink to a child. Be mildly but elegantly inappropriate. The Joyful Muse is a source of inspiration, a wild and disruptive feminine force that compels you to invite your 
more pleasure and delight into your life. Give yourself permission to be mischievous and find the humor in the tragedy while careful not to become frivolous. The power of this muse will shake up everyone around you and invite you to create beauty and grace out of the pain and tragedy you perceive in areas of your life. The joyful muse often comes at a time when darkness prevails and the future seems dour. Embrace her gifts being playful without being silly, invite the child inside you to come out and play for a play date, and he or she will help you to return to your innate innocence, the place of never been there, never done that, even if it is the same routine you wake up to every morning. Wow, that is really good. Because I was saying, this is the energy I was feeling that you feel very stern and strict, <clears throat> but this person brings out a soft side in you. And <clears throat> I said they give you inspiration. This is your muse. This person brings this to you, but this is also telling you to also do this for yourself. To um, just be a little more playful, be a little more lighthearted, have a little more joy in your life. And that will bring more joy to your life. Because if we stay too strict and too stern, that's what we're going to get. Okay, now let's see. 32. No, right before that one. Okay. Joel Webb. Connectivity, no separation, the feelings no separation the feeling state okay approach it any article rec oracle requires you to come in with a certain expectations you're either looking for a confirmation of what you already know or attempting to shed light on what eludes you on the obvious path you're on you're asking whether you will reach a desired goal or some kind you're of some kind you're rarely able to see beyond memory or projection and so naturally everyone comes to the oracle with a natural perception of what's possible imagine that the answer to your question is not about landing at a particular destination meeting a goal connecting to a special lover reaching an end game or experiencing anything specific instead you discover a shimmering web of jewels you didn't know existed the world is interconnected in, in a living web of energy. It isn't possible to know how any of it works, but know this, what is in your highest good is a sparkling jewel that lights up for you among this web of possibilities. You just need to know how you want to feel and choose this consciously. Take your focus off getting anywhere. Practice feeling and being in a place where your desired experience has already come to pass. You will who will you be when this true true wait I'm sorry that who will you be when this is true for you can you be that now feel that now practice that the better you know your path within the web of life the more it will light up for you it is celebrating you already wow see celebration card we got that a couple times you are going to be celebrating something here and this is yeah that we are connected to everything and wow this is a pretty amazing reading I think so. Things are really going in your favor. You are working on your career, on your business, on your finances, and you are also with this person focused in your mind to be together with them and have a happy uh, reunion. I would say with the lovers cards there twice and the soulmate cards, um, this is a pretty good chance that you guys are going to be getting together soon, and you're going to be celebrating. So I like it. I like it a lot. So um, I hope you did too. Gemini, please um, leave me comments and um, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.